So this is a very quick tip and I'll try doing this in under three minutes. So did you know you could cluster colors with the cluster sub instead of point positions? So let's do this. Delete that. Create a grid. Subdivision needs to get higher. We will create a color attribute from a map on the points. Choose something to our liking. Why that in the cluster sub? As a cluster attribute, we want to cluster the color. Why are that in here? Tell it to output the cluster sender so that will um, output the um, colors which lie in the individual centers. So the yeah, the ten clustered colors. Um, wire up a copy sub. Let's say we use a box for that. Make it a bit smaller. Copy it here, wire that in, nothing happens. That is because my points aren't spaced apart enough. So let's fix that with the help of a point wrangle. What I'm just going to do is I will multiply the point position with its PT number and uh, scaling factor. So let me check 10 points still there. Why doesn't that work? Um, ah, so like that. Yeah, that's better. Now the final thing I need to do is to tell it to get the attributes from the template points so that we end up like this. Now we can add vertex normals and here we have it, the 10 most common colors in this image. So that was a bit under two minutes and 30, nice. Um, okay, so if you're less hectic, let's dive into what we did. We imported, uh, we generated a grid imported color values onto those points and then use the cluster sub and the cluster sub usually is used to build clusters of point positions uh, however as it just takes vectors as an input we can also use the color vector as an input so it will cluster colors what i did with the output cluster centers is i told it to disregard all the input points that it clusters but output the center value of that cluster, so the middle value of this cluster. So it will it will group together colors of a similar value and output their average value and write that on a point. However, this point will be set to 0, 0, 0, so to the null position. So I need to space it apart and the easiest way was to just drop down a point wrangle and um, this cluster is gonna output like 10 points for 10 clusters. And what I did here was um, I just added this constant to the vector. So um, ptnum is the current point index, so that goes from 0 to 9 times 0.2, because that's the width of my box that I input here. So just to space them apart. And I could do that a bit more elaborately, but it needed to be quick, so that's a quick fix. Wired a box into a copy sub. In the attributes tab, just told it to use a template points attribute, so that will just copy the um, color attribute from the points here to my copies. So yeah, now that you have that, you can maybe apply it to another geometry, um, do some light setup and um, do a nice abstract rendering. Disclaimer, as with so many setups, this was inspired by the uh, awesome Twitter account uh, by Anders Hoff called Inconvergent. So check that out and um, have fun. And as always, let us know if you create any artwork using that technique. We're very intrigued to see that. Cheers.